Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here. Welcome back. And in this video, what we're going to do is take these four expressions here and we're going to rationalize the denominator. So starting with number one, we got five over root five minus two. So to rationalize it means we're going to get rid of this radical in the denominator in each of these expressions. So to do that here, what we got to do is multiply that denominator by this conjugate. So it's basically going to be root five plus two. We just change that sign in the middle. But what we do to the bottom, we also have to do to the top, like that. And so what's going to happen is when you multiply this by that by its conjugate, it's going to be just a difference of squares. Those middle terms are going to cancel out. So then you just multiply the n terms. So root 5 times root 5 gives us 5. And then negative 2 times positive 2 gives us negative 4. And then 5 times root 5 would just be 5 root 5. And then 5 times 2 gives us 10 like that. And then notice 5 minus 4 is just 1. So we would just end up with 5 root 5 plus 10. Now you can also maybe keep it factored instead of uh, distributing that 5 inside the bracket. So if we did that, it would be 5 bracket root 5 plus 2. Right, but either this or that is the final answer. Now, number two, we got one over root x plus root y. So same thing, multiplied by the conjugate, root x minus root y. Change that sign in the middle, multiply the top by the same thing. So it's like we're taking this whole thing and multiplying it by one. So it's keeping it the same, we're just adding more onto it. So uh, root x times root x gives us x. Uh, then we have a minus in the middle. Root y times root y gives us y. And then uh, 1 times this gives us root x minus root y. And then here we can't simplify that any further, so that ends up being the final answer. Now over here, we got root x plus root y over root x minus root y. So same thing, we would multiply by this conjugate, which would be that, and multiply the top by that, and so what we would end up having, oh sorry, this is root y. What would end up happening here is uh, we would end up with x minus y again in the denominator, but then over here we would end up having, we could write this in different ways like that because these are the same term. So root x plus root y to the power of two. You could also FOIL it out. So if we FOIL it out, let's see what happens. I'll do that on the side here. So root x times root x is x. Root x times root y gives us root xy. Root x times root y, root xy again. And then root y times root y gives us y. And then notice these two are like terms. There's like a one in front of both of them. So it'll be x plus two root xy plus uh, y, like that. So that can be in the numerator as well. So this could also be written as x plus two root x y plus y all over x minus y like that. Right? Notice in all of these, we've gotten rid of the radical and the denominator because we're rationalizing the denominator. And then finally, number four, a little bit more going on here. We got four root six minus nine root y in the denominator, so we're going to have to rationalize that. Then we've got 3 root x plus 5 root y in the numerator. So the conjugate of this is going to be 4 uh, root x plus 9 root y, like that. And then we're going to have to multiply the top by the same thing. All right, so notice we just changed that sign in the middle. So what's going to happen here is uh, right here we got four, since we're multiplying by the conjugate, the middle terms are gonna cancel out when we FOIL, so we just have to multiply the n. So four root x times four root x gives us 16x. And then minus nine times positive nine gives us minus 81. And then root y times root y gives us y like that. 
So 16x minus 81y is going to be the term in the denominator. Now the numerator is going to be a bit of a headache to deal with. We can just multiply by these two brackets. So keep it as 3 root x plus 5 root y times in brackets 4 root x plus 9 root y. Now if you were to FOIL it out, 3 root x times 4 root x would give us 12x. Then 3 root x times 9 root y would give us 27 root xy. And then 5 root y times 4 root x would give us 20 root xy. And then 5 root y times 9 root y would give us 45 y, like that. And then notice that this and that are like terms, right? So if we simplify that, we would end up having, uh, what, 57 root xy? plus 45y, like that. And this would be all over uh, 16x minus 81y. You could also factor out, uh, I believe a three, yeah, three works. You could factor out a three from all of these in the numerator. So another format this could be written in, I'll write it up here, would be three bracket four x, plus uh, this here would be what, 19? Root xy plus 15y all over 16x minus 81y. Right? A couple of different formats it could be written at. But uh, either way, notice that the denominator has been rationalized because there's no more radical there.